All right, Paul. So what kind of investment in time and resources are we looking at to having a TikTok presence? Um, I think that I think consistency is pretty key. And if you're still trying to find like what your voice is or what your audience is on TikTok, you might want to um, at least for a month invest a good chunk of time in making a good deal of content like batch content. One of the challenges. Um, so I when before we were uh, having this conversation, you said that like I had kind of like gone, stopped making TikToks for a couple of weeks during like Christmas and stuff. I think you kind of get sometimes burnt out with the, tr you know, the trial and error process. So I did take a, a break, but my um, manager challenged me to do a five video a week. Uh, sorry, five video a week. Uh, sorry, a day. Oh, wow. <laughs> a day? A day challenge. So I did my best to do the five videos a day for a whole, I think almost two months. And um, yeah, so it was, it was, it was a pretty, yeah, maybe like a month and a half, two months, something like that. I'm still trying to keep up with that, but that is a, is a large number. Um, but from what the outcome has been, uh, we now have a, a video that's been, uh, that has like 4.2 million views. Wow. So you know, I don't know if this is just like an algorithm thing. There's some, you know, TikTok influencers or, you know, gurus, if you will, that say that um, the algorithm get like a, what's it called? It incentivizes or it uh, rewards consistency. So that might have been a factor if that's true, if, it, if the algorithm really does reward consistency. Um, we were also be very playful with the videos that went viral in like the recent weeks. Uh, it was about like sending our project manager to Hawaii. So those were the videos that recently it was, uh, the first one that went viral, which right now sits at 300,000 views. Mm -hmm. Uh, that one was on Valentine's day. So ever since Valentine's day, we've made these little videos that, um, about our project manager trying to get remote work. So sure. again, the topic is about something that in, that interests our, our niche, right? Our company culture niche, right? People that are in the corporate space, corporate activism. Um, but it's doing it in a fun way. We also used our own products. Um, we had some of our uh, partners send us like a custom umbrella, uh, a shirt, like little things like that, that we can kind of keep the momentum going. Uh, but yeah, that was a really good win for us because we were able to predict and replicate a couple of viral videos in that like same. Okay. So when you say consistency, mm -hmm. like when I, when I hear consistency, I, I think if I'm producing one video a week and I stick with that, yeah, that's consistency. But when you, but from what I'm hearing from you, it's almost like you're saying the more content you produce, the better the algorithm favors you. Is that true? I want to say that it's been true in our experience, sure. at least in the, the past couple of weeks, because we had had like more viral videos happen in the past, but I wasn't doing this five video a week thing. But once I did, then we were, I guess, then we had this video takeoff that was unforeseen, right? Our mm -hmm. The videos that we were making, even at that five video a week, a, a day challenge thing, weren't getting a lot of views. Mm -hmm. So again, it's like a puzzle with the algorithm. Sure. A lot of people say that it works. And a lot of people say that it's just the value of the content being good. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I don't think it's, you lose nothing by trying it. You right. know, if you really right. hate these videos afterwards, just delete them um, or you can just make them private. It, some people say that right. deleting the video isn't the best uh, approach. But, you know, during that time where you make a good like five videos a day, you can kind of get a feel for the voice. You can kind of get a feel mm -hmm. for different topics. Um, it's just really a, a, a trial and error, kind of a big right. time for you to explore different kind of hooks and openings and stuff like that. Right. I think five videos a day is, is certainly ambitious for, especially for a, a lot of companies in the promotional products industry, but certainly five videos a week 
doing one a day. Like you mentioned, they could be really quick videos. 